kita sambung uh, pelajaran kita guna buku teks ya. Kita tengok hari ni uh, perkembangan embrio sehingga sehinggalah proses uh, kelahiran bayi, bayi ya. Okey lepas daripada kita baca buku teks ni nanti kita tengok satu video dan kita cuba uh, kenal pasti minggu-minggu uh, yang terbabit dalam video tersebut ya. Okey kita tengok dulu uh, minggu pertama hingga keempat ni gambar embrio tersebut ya tangan dan kaki mula terbentuk jadi kita nampak ada tangan dengan kaki ya yang ini tangan dan kaki mula terbentuk embrio mempunyai ekor yang kecil ya jadi ini bahagian ekor yang kecil masuk minggu ke-7 hingga ke-9 kalau uh, kamu tengok dia tulis minggu 1 hingga 4 kemudian terus lompat kepada minggu 7 kan jadi minggu yang uh, 5, 6 tu uh, itu uh, dalam proses ni lah proses nak ke minggu ke 7 hingga 9 ya di minggu 7 hingga 9 hidung, telinga dan jari akan kelihatan ya hidung, telinga lepas tu kita nampak ada jari ya akan mula kelihatan dan ekornya makin kecil kan nampak ya ekor makin kecil minggu ke 10 hingga ke 19 embrio akan kelihatan seperti bayi embrio kini dipanggil fetus jadi sekarang dah nampak macam baby kan dah nampak telinga tu dah nampak dah rupanya sedikit kita panggil embrio ni kita panggil fetus minggu ke 20 hingga 37 ya fetus akan semakin kelihatan menyerupai bayi ya dan nampak dah telinga pun dah ada cuping telinga ya. minggu 38 hingga 40 fetus terbentuk dengan lengkap badan fetus berputar badan dia ni akan berpusing-pusing ya. ya sehingga kepalanya menuju ke arah serviks ini dah nak ready untuk keluar ya dinding berotot terus Uh, dinding berotot itu terus mengecut dengan kuat jadi ini proses uh, kelahiran ya amnion pecah sarung ni sarung ni pecah dan bendali amnion dibebaskan fetus ditolak keluar dari uterus melalui faraj dan seterusnya keluar daripada badan jadi itu proses kelahiran jadi kita tengok video to release an egg if both ovaries release an egg you may have non-identical twins, also known as fraternal twins. Long, finger-like projections sweep the egg into the fallopian tube. The egg travels down the fallopian tube, pushed by tiny hairs, and awaits the arrival of sperm. About a teaspoon's worth of semen enters the vagina, containing roughly 300 million sperm. Less than 100,000 will pass into the cervix to begin their six-inch journey to the egg. A long, whip-like tail propels each sperm toward the waiting egg. Most sperm will lose their way. Only about 200 sperm successfully reach the egg. Fertilization occurs when one sperm penetrates the egg, combining their genetic material. The sperm and egg each contain 23 chromosomes holding... ...and personality. It's a boy or a girl. You just don't know which yet. Within 24 hours of fertilization, about every 12 hours as the zygote continues its trek to the uterus, the zygote has become a ball of 32 cells resembling a miniature raspberry. A few days later, it reaches the uterus as a ball of roughly 500 cells surrounding a fluid-filled cavity. On day seven, the ball of cells burrows into the uterine wall the lush uterine wall. Around week five, your developing baby is the size of a sesame seed. The cells that once formed the blastocyst's inner cell mass begin organizing and arranging, giving shape to the young embryo and forming primitive organs. Your baby's brain and spinal cord are visible through his translucent skin. Right around this time, your baby's circulatory system also forms and his heart begins to beat. Your baby looks more like a tiny tadpole than a human. 
He's drawing nutrients and oxygen through the newly formed placenta and umbilical cord. By week nine, the embryonic tail is gone. Your baby's looking more human every day. With protruding limbs and fingers, a defined nose, mouth, and eyes, and tiny earlobes. Your new resident is about the size of a grape and weighs a fraction of an ounce. His facial features are defined and his tooth buds are forming. Over the next weeks, his tissues and organs will rapidly grow and mature. The webbing is gone between his fingers and toes and his nails and fingerprints are developing. Your baby can open and close his fists and curl his toes. Thanks to his developing muscles and reflexes, he's now moving his limbs and kicking up a storm. If this is your first baby though, you likely won't feel his flutters until 18 to 20 weeks. Through translucent skin, his vital organs are visible and functioning, including his growing brain, nervous system, intestines, and liver, which is making red blood cells in place of the disappearing yolk sac. The umbilical cord is working hard now. One vein delivers oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to your baby. Two arteries then carry the blood away. Around week 12, the kidneys have begun producing urine, which your baby will soon start excreting into the amniotic fluid. He'll swallow the fluid and the process will begin again. By week 14, your baby's eyes and ears have moved into place and he can squint, frown, and grimace. Your His nerves are connecting his brain to the rest of his body, traveling from the brain through the brain stem and down the spine, and beginning to extend into his torso and limbs. Your baby's skeleton is changing too. The soft cartilage is starting to harden into bone. This happens first in the arms and legs. Sensory development is picking up speed. Your baby's brain is designating special areas for smell, taste, hearing, vision, and touch. At this stage, your baby may be able to hear your heartbeat and voice. So read aloud or sing a happy tune. Your baby may even be sucking his thumb now. At about 18 weeks, you'll start to experience one of the most exciting parts of pregnancy, feeling your baby's movements. His flexing arms and legs may feel like gentle flutters at first. They'll become even stronger and more frequent in the weeks ahead. At 20 weeks, your baby weighs a little more than 10 ounces and measures about 10 inches from head to heel, about the length of a banana. This week is a big milestone, the halfway point in your pregnancy. You may feel your baby squirm or kick in response. He can feel his own face now as well as anything within his reach, including the umbilical cord. He'll keep experimenting with and refining his sense of touch. Around 23 weeks, your baby can swallow. Soon after, you may notice fetal hiccups. Don't worry, hiccups are a normal part of development, and it's common for your baby to have them several times a day. His lungs are also forming millions of tiny branches called bronchioles. Incredibly, your baby is already practicing breathing by inhaling and moving small amounts of amniotic fluid in and out of his lungs. At 24 weeks, the baby is capable of surviving outside the uterus with significant medical At 27 weeks, the baby's eyelids may open as a reflex, but he can't see them. His lips are firm, and he now has tiny taste buds on his tongue. He weighs nearly two pounds and is about 14 and a half inches long.
Bok Choy by week 28. Her eyes can open and her toenails are starting to grow in. Next week, she weighs about three pounds. She's getting rounder as she gains fat and her skin's becoming smoother. At week 30, she's about 16 inches long, the length of a bundle of collard greens. Her eyes open, close, and respond to light. Your baby's the length of a rhubarb stalk next week and she's continuing to put on weight fast. She's around three and a half pounds the week after. That makes her almost as hefty as a cantaloupe. Your little one is up to four pounds by week 33. She swallows, yawns, and practices breathing. Plus, her brain now controls her body temperature. Next week, she's about as hefty as a sugar pumpkin. Four and a half pounds. She's putting on baby fat and her skin isn't see-through anymore. Your baby weighs about five pounds by week 35. She keeps practicing her breathing too. During week 36, she's about 18 and three quarters inches long. Wow, that's the length of a Swiss chart. Her fingernails have reached the ends of her fingers. Her skin is pink and those little legs are chubby. Next week, she weighs about as much as a honeydew melon, six pounds. Plus, her bones and muscles are ready for the outside world. The week after, she's about six and a quarter pounds, as heavy as a large cabbage. It's getting awfully crowded in there, and it's almost time to produce this produce. Your little one is about six and a half pounds at week 39. Her lungs are ready to breathe and cry, and as she drops into your birth canal, her head molds into a cute little cone shape. By week 40, her baby is around seven and a quarter pounds. She's come a long way these last three months and she can't wait to meet you.